good you guys this is scuba steve gaming i'm gonna give you guys my first tech profile on the world chalice uh so first you're gonna play three world legacy world chalice really good to start off combo starter uh really really good you play three of them then you go into lead the world chalice fairy good stratos of the deck uh searchable um yeah, it's really good. Touches all your cards you need. And then, of course, wouldn't be World Chalice deck without Venus. And, of course, three of your Shine Balls. Very important combo starter. Sucks that you pay life points, but gets the job done. Next, two of uh, Guard Dragon. Uh, really good to have it at two. I used to play it at one, but now that um, you just do guard dragon combos, it's actually really good. Uh, and then also it works as a hand trap, so there's that too. Then other two ups, the vanillas chosen, uh, crowned, and beckoned. Uh, not a lot of people like to play the normal monsters, but I choose to play the normal monsters. This is just a good rank four toolbox. This is um, good in the beginning, uh, combo starter, same as him, uh, they're just really easy just to go into that new synchro monster, so really good. And then for my one ofs, Gamma Seal, Goliath, and Exodius. Uh, Exodius I used to play two of, but now that we have um, Emerald, I think that's really good. Um, I might take this out later on but um testing it playing one of is actually really good uh goliath of course for the um guard dragon combos just special from the deck or if you have it in hand so you just special summon it or you could just get this special summon it of course gamma seal self-explanatory get the kyoto waterfront tower just negates and yeah it's actually really good uh now onto the spells Three of strength modify. Just in case you don't open up Venus, you can just you know open up Shine Ball or Lee, which is really good. Um, just special summon Venus, summon three Shine Balls, and there you go. Really good. Next to Kyoto Waterfront. I don't know if I should want if I want to put this up to three, just because Terraforming just got hit to one, and I don't want to play traps in here. So, so. Just thinking of just probably just playing two of these. Two of these seems fair. You draw a lot of cards, so it's actually okay. Same reason for Cult by the Grave. You just draw a lot. I feel like you just need to play two. No more than that. I mean, you could play three, but uh, through my testing, I feel like two is okay for me. Same with Unexpected Die, but un with an Unexpected Die, you know, uh, it's only a really good opening hand. Drawing a late game is just kind of dumb. You want to see it, but you don't want to see a late game. So this is actually really good. Then of course Upstar Goblin, self-explanatory for my one ofs. One for one, self-explanatory. Foolish Burial, same. Uh, you either see in Guard Dragon or uh, Lee the World Chalice Fairy. So you can just get um, cards out of your hand that you need to. And then of course Monster Reborn, self-explanatory. I also had the one terraforming. How sad, how sad. And then, of course, my World Legacy targets. World Legacy Guard Dragon, World Legacy Succession, and Heart. Uh, I feel like this is really good. I might want to bump this to two or this to two. But so far in testing, this is okay. If I were to take out anything, I'd probably take out Exodius and put another one of these. This is just really good. Now for the extra deck, of course, the new World Chalice, um, it's actually really good, great support for World Chalice, uh, if this were to ever get hit, that would be sad, you only need to play one, so if this ever gets hit down to one, that's okay, but if this ever gets banned, uh, that's going to be really bad for the deck. This is, I feel like, what's going to make it competitive, this format, uh, really good. Alright, and then next up, 
Cyber Quantum Dragon. I uh, feel like this is really good if you build a board. Um, of course, with Link Monsters, uh, they can't attack except this monster. So I feel like once you establish a board of Links and then have this on the side, you know they can't really out the board. Uh, next for my XCs, Degos Emerald, really good. Uh, shuffling the three Shine Balls or you know any of your other world just uh, normal monsters if you need to, or just anything else, draw one. This is really good. If you have Venus on the field and you already use the three, shuffle the three in. Uh, just really good extender, really good. And then number twenty nine. Um, there's an FTK with this with this card for World Chalice. Um, but I'm not playing that. I don't think it's really good. But this is just a really good um, going second card. I feel like um, just because you can get the shine balls out, go into this, send something a uh, special something from there, uh, graveyard, and then you know you get a special something from your deck. This is pretty good. And then of course once Iurja, you can play more. I just feel like you just need one. You already go through your deck so much. One is should be enough, and then uh, really good for the special summoning effect, and then beefing up your um, monsters. This is actually really good. Just one. Uh, you can play more, but I feel like one is enough. Now uh, Nigiritsu, also really good. Uh, gets you out of like really hard situations. Also, um, at best, you know you could draw three out of him uh the lowest is like two you'll be guaranteed to at least draw two from him but three most if you know you open up the right cards this is really good and then ib priestess this one it's another really good card uh kind of standard just you know whatever it's just good and then binary sorcerer binary sorcerer is really good in this deck because you use a lot of life points uh, this can get you back during late games, or you know, really you know, grind your matches. This this can um, get your life points back up, as long as you build the right board. Uh, one card I'm trying to test out: Double by Dragon. Um, I kind of just have them, you know, if I open up Venus and I don't have any other combo extenders or any extenders at all, I feel like having him just on field is okay. I guess mediocre. Um, but I'm just testing him out for right now. Um, I feel like he's okay just for that point. Arm. Arm is really good now for that new synchro. Have it engraved, special summon it again. Go into Quantum Dragon. That I like that. I like doing that with him. Um, now you have more World Legacy cards um, in your graveyard, so now he could be even stronger for each 300 um, World Legacy mon uh, cards in there. So Arm, really good. For your Link 1s. Link Spider, uh, very crucial to the beginning of your combo um, start, start of your combo, really good. Then of course, LP, LP just for those guard dragon combos and specialing up Goliath. Uh, it's pretty all he's good for. And then the only three of's in the extra deck, M Duck. <laughs> M Duck is the best in this deck. This is your combo starter. You want to start off with this. This is really good. It gives you the additional normal summons for your War Legacy World Chalice. Then you get to go into a Link 2. And that's pretty good. So, and then you get to special some 2 more. I'm um, going to be doing test hands with this deck. Just thought I'd make the deck profile first. Um, just explain on, you know, my thoughts of this deck. But, uh, I feel like this deck should be competitive in this format. I just got to play right and I, I should be fine but uh yeah this, this deck should be competitive it is going to be competitive but uh yeah that's my deck profile actually might as well just go into this here I'll just give you my side deck for my side deck three evenly going second if you need to go second these are good from you um you know those tough matches those Breakable boards, unbreakable boards, I should say. <sighs> Ghost Bell and Hunter's Mansion. I don't know how I feel about this card. This card, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about these cards. 
Um, might take these out for something else. Just don't know what yet. But I'm not liking these cards. Doesn't seem too reasonable to run. Uh, John Lockbird. I love this card. Uh, the rares. Beautiful. Um, yeah. It's really good against some matchups. Um, kind of Sky Strikers. Um, Pendulums. If you verse them, they're starting to be really popular. Uh, yeah. This is good for them. And Danko Seca, I don't know. Uh, it's good to good to play it, um, especially if you run into that one awkward situation where somebody's playing, you know, Peleozoix, uh, or you know, maybe Sky Strikers. I don't know. I haven't really tested it against Sky Strikers. Maybe it's good against them. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I just like having Danko. So nice. Uh, of course, three Twin Twisters. Um, pendulums are starting to be another thing again. Uh, yeah, back row decks. Uh, yeah, it's good to have them. Then, of course, the most generic hand trap ever. Uh, Ash Blossom. Enjoy spring. You gotta run the Ultra, Common, and Super. That way you get good luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my side deck. That's my deck profile. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you guys would change anything. I'm going to make separate videos on uh, testing hands. And I'm going to so combo tutorials for it. Um, I feel like this deck is actually really competitive. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.